President William Ruto and his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa kicked off their mandate in the government moments after taking the oath of office. <laughs> President William Ruto unleashing his bag of goodies that he had pledged during his campaigns. It is a sigh of relief to farmers as President Dr. William Ruto has assured them they will begin buying fertilizer at 3,500 shillings from the current 6,500 for a 50 kilogram bag from next week. Our priority intervention therefore is to make fertilizer, good quality seed and other agricultural inputs affordable and available. For the short range, For the short rains, we have already made arrangements to make 1.4 million bags of fertilizer available at Kenya shillings 3,500 for a 50 kilogram bag down from the current 6,500. This fertilizer will be available from next week. I appeal. President Ruto affirming that his administration has already made available 1.4 million bags of fertilizer to help show up food production with the expected short rains. Additionally, additionally, to cushion tea farmers, we have made arrangements with KTDA to immediately supply tea farmers with fertilizer at 3,500 shillings down from Kenya shillings 5,600. This is our initial intervention. We will be doing more in the medium term and in the long term. Ruto also issued instructions to revert the clearance of goods to the port of Mombasa Port operations were moved to Naivasha by immediate former President Uru Kenyatta, who handed over power to Ruto today after serving for 10 years. We will be issuing instructions for clearing of goods and other attendant operational issues to revert to the port of Mombasa as I made a commitment. to Kenyans. This will restore thousands of jobs in the city of Mombasa. The move is said to restore thousands of jobs to the people of Mombasa County during the campaign period. The head of state asserted that the transfer of port operations to Naivasha was against the agreement made during the construction of the standard gauge railway. President Ruto confirming that he will appoint six judges of the Court of Appeal. Ruto will preside over the swearing-in ceremony of the six. Agri Muchalule, George Odunga, Weldon Career and Joel Ngugi on Wednesday, September 14th. To further demonstrate my commitment to the independence of the judiciary, this afternoon I will appoint the six judges already nominated for appointment to the Court of Appeal, which was done three years ago by the Judicial Service Commission. And tomorrow, I shall preside over their swearing in so that they can get on with the business of serving the people of Kenya. The budget allocation for the judiciary has also been increased by an additional of 3 billion shillings annually for the next five years. Our campaign for financial independence of the judiciary has paid off with the implementation of the Judiciary Fund on July 1 this year. My administration will scale up the budgetary allocation to the judiciary by an additional 3 billion shillings annually for the next five years. These resources will support the bottom-up scaling of justice by increasing the number of small claims courts from the current 25 to 100. We will also work with the judiciary 
to build high courts in the remaining seven counties and magistrates' courts in the remaining 123 sub-counties and support their ongoing digitization program. In a move that is said to end the political weaponization of the criminal justice system, President William Ruto has vowed to enhance financial autonomy in the National Police Service by transferring its budget from the office of the president. Ruto saying that he will designate the inspector general as the accounting officer in order to end its dependency from his office. As required by Article 245 of the Constitution, the inspector general of police is mandated to exercise independent command over the National Police Service. The service's operational autonomy, however, has been undermined by the continued financial dependence on the office of the president. This situation is going to change. As I address you, I have instructed that the instruments conferring financial autonomy to the National Police Service by transferring their budget from the office of the president and designating the inspector general as the accounting officer be placed on my desk for signature this afternoon. President Ruto is however said to give more directives on some of the campaign promises in the coming days. Davis Mberia, Ebro News.